Few things in life are cuter than a puppy. An innovative photographer just created a photo book featuring wide-eyed puppies in the water. And as Ben Tracy reports, the pictures are just part of the appeal. It's a good thing Seth Castile doesn't mind getting wet. Because this is his office. You have one of the more unique jobs of anyone I've ever met. When people meet you and you tell them what you do, what is the general response? Is that a real job? <laughs> he calls himself a lifestyle pet photographer, and his first book, Underwater Dogs, was a bestseller in 2012. So he figured underwater puppies would be an inevitable encore. The dogs in your pictures look like they're having a ton of fun. Oh, yeah. But what do you think they're actually thinking? Are they like, get me out of this pool or get my no. head above the water? They are thinking, I'm having the time of my life right now. They feel wild again. For Castile, this is not just fun and games. He wants to remind pet owners how vulnerable dogs are around water. You know, this is such an important message to let people know that they should absolutely teach their dogs, whether it be puppies or adult dogs, how to get out of the pool. This pool party at Lucky Puppy Doggy Daycare in Michigan shows how some canines go dog wild over the water. But it's estimated that thousands of pets drown each year in swimming pools. That's not the right way. So Castile spent six months traveling through 13 states, teaching dogs of all ages to swim toward the steps. He lures them into the pool with a game of fetch and quickly snaps his shots with an underwater camera. He's taken more than 100,000 pictures with 1,500 puppies. At times, he spent 14 hours per day in the pool. I imagine you didn't wake up one day and say, I want to take a picture of a puppy underwater. <laughs> How did you get into this line of work? Cats. <laughs> you started with cats? Started with cats. He used his photography to help abandoned kittens find homes. He then went into business, shooting pet portraits, and was hired to capture a dignified pose of a King Charles Spaniel named Buster. But Buster had a few thoughts of his own. This little dog loved the pool. So started jumping in and I thought, wow, that's magnificent. The, uh, the owner was just uh, so upset because she wanted some really fabulous dry shots of Buster with this crazy hair blowing in the wind. And I said, <laughs> hold on a minute, you know, this is what Buster likes to do. Let's see if we can make it happen. Left by a little point and shoot underwater camera, came back, did a couple snapshots, got home and was like, wow. I got to see what's going on with this underwater dog stuff. Most of the puppies Castile captures in his photos are rescues. He hopes their wide-eyed charm reminds people to visit shelters when looking for a pet. You've done underwater dogs, underwater puppies. Yes. What's next? What's next is underwater babies. The other day I photographed 60 babies in a day, and I have such a blast working with these babies and watching them learn the importance of swim safety. I'm not sure taking 60 babies into a pool and underwater is what most people would say is fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, man. He's just beginning to scratch the surface of doing business underwater. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Sherman Oaks, California. Great oh, story, because most dogs story. do love the water. Yeah. Yes. You and can... good advice to show them how to get out. A lot of people don't think about that. Does Barkley sure. like the water? Loves it, and but also knows how to get out. Yeah. You know, I stand there and watch him when he was oh, learning oh, how to do it. Yeah, there he is. Oh, there he is, yeah, in the pool. Oh. Look at him. Is that your pool? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And who's, the, who's that, his friend? That's a neighborhood dog who comes oh. over to swim with him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gil, have you been to Charlie's at that pool? <laughs> I'm seeing it for the first time Me just too. like you. Oh. Um, <laughs> guess we hey, haven't way, been invited. The huh? neighborhood dog has been invited. <laughs> exactly. But we just, haven't. Just saying. Just saying. Did, did I appropriately thank you for introducing that video of me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not. Okay. That's okay. All I right. don't hold a grudge.